Welcome everyone to Operation Empty Mist. It's a heavy abduction in the good old US of A. Down south in Miami. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to engage. And so this could be a very awkward map. It can get very messy very quickly. Even in Long War, you're only a I've never you might be able to spawn elsewhere. I've never seen you spawn anywhere but here in Long War. This is the vanilla spawn, obviously. Because it's just a little kind of square off to the side. Where else could you spawn? And this is really awkward. Because you're limited in sight immediately. There could be guys right here. Could be guys anywhere around here. It's especially awkward if they're down in this corner. With mechs, it shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't be too hard because we can create our own hard cover. But... As the game wears on, as more threatening enemies, say there's a say there's a mechtoid like right here, it just overwatches and we're trapped in this corner. There's very little we can do about it. Say there's a cyber disc up here, very little we can do about it. Well, I mean, what we would do about it is um, run the listener right up, draw any overwatch, move gob up, proximity mines, boom. That's what we do about it. That's our answer to anything when gobs around. So anyway, we have. A very good mix of experience and complete inexperience, but look at how much health. The complete... I think nuclear power Kim Jong-il is just like... is still a specialist, I think. Just past the private first class, and yet with the chitin plating, has as much armour as Gunnery Sergeant Tribute. And then the tank, the listener, just has like one more health than complete glass calling gob. But I've not this doesn't look like a team that's been well built. And we've also got a sniper coming along. What's Commissar got? Lone Wolf, of course. What a terrible map to have Lone Wolf on. Your sniper will pretty much never be more than seven squares away from anyone on this team. So I mean we we have to go. We can't just stay here forever. Who do we want to move first? Oh yeah this is gonna be a very capture heavy mission. That's what Argent is here for. I'm thirsty for captures. Heading there now. Tribute up first, because if Tribute activates, I want the listener with a blue move to be able to run the Overwatch. Moving. And despite me wanting Ardus right up the front, I think it'd be far better to have a battle scanner either there or right up this side. I think it's more I think a battle scanner over here would tell us far less than a battle scanner over here would, but being able to clear this side and be able to take this side safely would be so much more advantageous than getting to know what's over here. Now, excuse me one second. Jojo, what's up? I can't do anything for you in here. I'm the commander of the aliens. Well, not, not the aliens, I'm the commander of the alien defense force. You can come watch if you like, but I don't think you'd understand it. What are you looking for? I should really cut this bit out, but I haven't actually stopped recording. It's a bit awkward. God, who had the utterly terrible idea to keep that recording? Jesus, that's like all the hard drive space gone. Uh, anyway, we were throwing a battle scanner either left or right. I said I was going to throw it right. The problem with throwing it right, though, is that this is all full cover, as you can kind of see, as you can kind of make out. But if we say throw it here, it won't show us what's directly behind this wall. But if there's any pod over here, it should still show us it. Or maybe if we throw it like right there, it'll shine through to there as well. Yeah, I'm like I'm liking right there. Let's get a better view. Oh no, what's it seen? Is it only sectoids? That looks like only sectoids, but who knows? In this little, f oh that that one thing of full cover. It could be hiding a mech toy. It's not hiding a mech. Oh, there it is. There's the other one. It's right up the top. Is there anything over here I haven't seen? It, it wasn't that good a scan, was it? I thought it? I thought it would shine through to there and show us a bit more, but... Nah. So we are just going to roll right up. Right up along this wall. Uh, where is... Oh, we need... CSM with the LMG as well, that's not ideal. CSM up to here. And then Commissar onto the corner. 
Who does that leave to actually go along there? It's, it's only... Okay. We, in all the games I've had with someone called nuclear-powered Kim Jong-il, which is surprisingly more than you'd think, I've never come up with a good, quick... Oh, that was a mistake. I just was not paying attention. I was off in another world and got puffed around there. We didn't get punished for it, which is good. But you really need, and our socks needs to steady a rocket as well, to be honest. Ah, so let's just steady there. Overwatch. What? What's ultimate threat assessment again? Oh yeah, it's extra defense in Overwatch because Gob never goes into Overwatch. Is what I said. I remember now. God, what an arduous first turn. Eight minutes of footage down the drain. Have these guys just stayed in place? Because we could just, like, roll right up to them. Like, they're not even going to activate if we come up here. If they see us, they are dead. Now, again, I'm not fussed about sectoid captives. I wouldn't mind sectoid captives, but not fussed. So one thing is, I'll just up to here rather than coming right up here, so we can now get the good battle scanner down here. And this should hopefully show us the big threats on this map. Well, bigger threats, to be honest. To be perfectly honest. Uh, tributes. Oh, hello. If we really wanted to, we could activate these guys. I do not want to activate with aye, aye, Commander. the guys who can't move around this side, though. CSM does not have range from there, which is a shame. I'll move CSM up okay. to here. CSM now has range with heat ammo on these guys, and that is cool as heck. Not on the next guy, though. So maybe moving up to there would give CSM range on all of them, if you could see them, which you can't. But then that could potentially activate stuff up here. And that's the problem with this map. It's just, it's just the line, it's line of sight dominoes. You move to here and it activates everywhere around and it just everything activates. And it's very hard to slowly move up. I think your best way of slowly moving up is to do what we plan to do. Sneak up here. Hope this bit is clear. Take this bit if possible. And there's a ladder up here. You can slowly come up the side. Obviously our mechs can't do that. You know what? You know what? I do not care about a single sectoid. I am racist against sectoids. I want rid of all sectoids on this building site. I and I will take immediate steps to rectify the sectoid threat. That's going to be all of them dead in a single turn. Because we, we do not need any sectoids on this building site. They are not good labour. They are not strong, hard-backed young aliens who just want to get on in life. No, those are mutons and muton berserkers. We we welcome mutons and muton berserkers. They are not cool flying things who might drop a, a, an alien carbine. Nuclear power Kim Jong-il is coming over here just to like maybe no mop up the next one. Right, keep steady. Keep, keep overwatch, eh? Um... Might as well take actual cover now, our socks. These guys are probably moving around. I'm, I don't remember ever seeing a stationary float pod. If these guys move, they are dead. Gob's going to go round this corner. Actually, no. Actually, if the listener's going to go round this corner, they're all going to die. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be hilarious. I'll be laughing all day. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> that, was, that was actually funnier than I thought it'd be, to be honest. <laughs> they actually did all die. I didn't realise the one at the top died as well. That is quite good. That was actually quite good. I fancy this, to be honest. I do fancy that. I fancy that being a kill. Activate the rest of them. They fly up. Double tap. Kill a second. Well, only that one's come forward enough. But if it hits, it's dead. Oh! That, that did no damage whatsoever. 
You've got heat ammo, you've got a gun, and it only did six damage. Good lord. Right, 72% on these guys, and that will kill. As long as it is the ghost long rifle. We don't know if it is. Right, there's no ammo, it's a ghost long rifle. What I'm kind of considering doing for Ardis is lobbing right up here. Because obviously that's now in capture range. So Ardis in here is good corner cover. Running. The problem is activating halfway. But we're taking risks. We're taking risks, we're taking names. We're, we're, we're not really taking names though, are we? I mean, gob up. How far does this go? Because we don't want to kill this guy, to be honest. But I feel like if we overwatch, you probably will die. And that would be a sad day. Who enough can you see? Is it is it just remnant shadows of these sectoids? It probably is as well. The listener just has PTSD from seeing sectoids spontaneously combust in front of them. I mean, our socks, there's not much for you to do, to be honest. I mean, you can move up here. Hopefully he'll see. Whoa, there's a big guy overwatching here. I'm not going to do a thing. I'm watching. That's quite good mobility, we have to say. Well, that said, if this guy does come forward, he will be able to flank Ardis and um, Nuclear Power Kim Jong-il. He probably will be dead with Sentinel and assorted other overwatchers. See, there we go. You can get stuff right in the corner. And this is what we brought our socks for. And they're just going to take all the overwatch. It's going to be so annoying. That's a quality overwatch. Oh, hello. Oh, no, no. We don't want to be watching this. Is this some kind of ridiculous split pod? That was God Pit in that overwatch, was it? Look at that. Look at that up there. So it's taken all the overwatch. We might be fine just now. It's Gob taking all the fire at the moment. Now, Gob, that's, that's 2 DR and that's not bad. Oh, where's it going? Far, far away from our king engineer, that's where. Cover my flank. So we've got a mechtoid pod over here, which is what we were waiting for. Uh, the Seeker's all pretty much died. So Tribute can hopefully just pick off this guy. Because it's not worth leaving him there flanking us. I know we want captures, but that's a bit ridiculous. That's a beautiful thumbnail. And Tribute can now... Overwatching would probably be best. And that leaves Commissar to do nothing because he's not got any ammo. Let's see what we can actually do with these guys. I think the listener might be bugged for good. Bugged for the rest of this mission. Right, coin flips to hit all these guys. Oh, I just might be able to bounce some kind of grenade onto these guys. I'm, I'm surprised they can see Ardis from there. That's like steep corner cover. But I suppose you can see round... No, no, not even that. Uh, nuclear Peg Kim Jong-il, I would like to come up here and get this kill if possible, but that might activate the mechtoid. But then that's just a risk I'm fully willing to take on his behalf. I'd like it if you got this kill, but DR and also missing 85% shots, as one does, it's always a risk. Gob can come up here, but I'd rather have Gob lay mines for the mechtoid. Who's that lead? That leaves the listener. We need to deal with this guy. That would be a good thumbnail. That'd be a better thumbnail, but the listener's already been off. 70! <laughs> right, that was far too loud because I've got the mic far too close to my face. But then if I take the mic away from my face at this point, it will just upset the balancing of the rest of the thing me do. Oh, of course, CSM. After the abomination for thumbnails that was the last mission, this one is just far too heavy with them. I mean, there's no good cover for Ardis to move up to. So, I mean... Right, here's the thing as well. That floater is the leader or the navigator. It has damn good ground. Which, essentially, it's got a permanent plus 10 aim, plus 10 defense. 
So that's why we were struggling to hit it. That's why we had worse odds on it. He's going to probably be able to hit us. Um, he's not going to come forward enough to really hit our socks unless we bring our socks forward. It can't see Nuka Pag Kim Jong It does max. Nuka Pag Kim Jong Il's got all the armor anyway. Um, Gob. Heading to that location. One for all over here. Hopefully, don't activate these guys. Put down a mine, and that will be a turn well done. If we put a mine there, it will activate the mechtoid next turn. But it will also definitely hit the mechtoid for a lot of damage. Probably kill the sectoid as well. So it's a worthy trade off, all in all. And then Ardus has nothing to do but. Blah, 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 blah. Miss the target. Oh, hello! I've done a lot more damage than I thought it would. And it killed the entire pod apart from the mechtoid. My position is compromised. CSM can probably finish it off. Given that this is the exact situation we brought CSM along for. But no, just out of range. Commissar! Your time is now! You can one hit this guy, surely. Oh, maybe not. 11 damage on effectively a rookie sniper no shred I believe in Commissar a good commander believes in his troops a good commander believes that we can rush right up to this one remaining floater and maybe get a capture on him What would be perfect? Oh, there we go. Six damage. Leaves it with two health. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Where's the ladder? The nearest ladder's around there. So we can move Gob, like, say, right up to here. I'm on it, Commander. One for all. Sprint up Ardus. Location confirmed. We're in we're better place for a capture. We can try again with the flamethrower next time. Um, we can maybe suppress. I feel like a flush would kill it. So suppress, it should move. Because despite it not being in cover, we're not flanking it because it's flying. Uh, might as well reload. So we're not going to be firing it. So our socks, you can just continue sitting there. Don't you bother your wee little head about anything. Good to go. Keep moving up just in case we can get a cheeky chem grenade up. There could still be other pods on this map, you never know. If he Roger decides that. to do a runner, Tribute has the floater in sight. Oh, of course, covering fire. I am an idiot. I'm an actual idiot. We would have had that if not for me being an actual idiot. Complete. So that was a lot more aliens than we thought, but then Gob killed them all. Operation Empty Mist. Proxy Mind Delight. Impressive work, Commander. It really Our was, though, wasn't it? Good after a mission like that. Gob racking up the kill, still not promoted. The listener finally getting up there. Look at that for a kill ratio. Five missions, 18 kills. Not so many this time. Now, this is an interesting choice. Not so much on a Goliath, but it's still an interesting choice. Advanced fire control, we know all about it. The listener doesn't really go into Overwatch. Doesn't really have the mobility to Overwatch, to be honest. Has better aim than I thought, though. So that leaves collateral damage, which is great. It's really, really great. Oh, in fact, well, what we'll be getting collateral damage on is probably our Shogun mechs when we get them. And you get Shoguns by augmenting engineers. What collateral damage does is that it just gets rid of all cover. It takes a lot of ammo, gets rid of cover, and does, like it says, like a third, a third damage that the shot would usually do. It's like an area of effect. It's it's not nowhere near as large as a grenade, but it completely decimates cover and does damage. And if you combine that with heat ammo, 
Uh, if you've got like a floating pod of drones or floaters, it actually does quite a lot of damage. But Goliaths are here to tank. It's, it's a bit dodgy that we took heat armor over shock absorbent armor in the first place. And resilience is... It's not the perfect tanking perk, it's one of the perfect tanking perks. Because we... Absorption fields and then later on damage control, those are really good. But resilience... Resilience is essentially the safety blanket. It's how much damage can this guy do to me and it's half as much as their max damage because they can't crit. So resilience all the way, the will only confirms it up to 56 will, that's not bad. Commissar. Now we are doing a crit build on Commissar, that means precision shot, prec shot. Oh, look at that will. And see, that's... Commissar is not only one of the storyline troops who comes with high will anyway. He is also a psych He's also psychic from a very early level. So 74 will at Corporal. It's a bit ridiculous. Nuclear powered Kim Jong-il is going to be a reviver. A proper full-on medic this time. So 18 meld, we got it. We did it, Mom. We did it. I'm pretty sure we have nothing better to do than scan on. These two requests here are for things we don't have. It's for drones and for a muton captive. Lab's going to finish in a day. The one thing that might be worth doing is once this satellite completes, we put the satellite up over America, we cancel one of the satellites and then start building it again, and we save, like, we lose however many days, like four days, and gain like 20 space bucks. It's worth it. Probably. So there's the Ghost Rifle. I'm not sure how really worth building this Ghost Rifle it actually was, because we're already going on missions where we've got spare Ghost Weapons. So those are all gone. Alloy Strike Rifle, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable about taking Scouts out with us again. Now that they are all up to scratch. Laboratory is online, so this we've got this big L now going around the place. Here we're going to put some kind of Illyrium reactor when we need it. Satellite Nexus coming along nicely. Next one will go there, then there. Oh, hello. A medium raider. We should be able to take it. One of our guys can nearly take it. And then we've got these guys come back in four and three days. So let's go, Midas Okamura. And if you don't shoot it down, and you're out for ages, we'll send you off to Asia, Closing where forever on. you'll stay. That's a bad start. Kind of made up for it a we bit, but that's 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 not the best engagement I've ever seen. Contact detected. Go and catch it. Engaging bogey. They're not going to stick around forever, Ruffles Bond. Oh, that's a bad start. It's a terrible start. Oh, what is the? Oh. No joy here. You got very lucky. I aborted that. Very very lucky to get your first kill, 007 Bond. So, so the 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 crashing still here then. So this is this is wonderful. I I do not know why this is happening. Um. Presumably you can still hear me talk. I think uh, there's some kind of uh, corruption going on in the video at the moment. And now the game has died, now we're back. And... Um, 3, 2, 1, recording. And I've started recording just to tell you I'm going to stop recording because I'm going to pick a team of 8 to take on this urban block. Right, Urban Block can only be one map with a medium UFO, and I hate it. So I'm going to build a team specifically for this Urban Block, and I will be right back with you. I think what a lot of people would say in this situation is that they're not taking any chances. I'm not going to say that. I'd say I'm not taking many chances. I'm taking some chances. I'm bringing King Brandon, who has thus far proved to be completely useless and um, I'm giving him the alloy bipod despite him bringing the auto rifle because I don't really know what to give him. Ledger of the Skies is back along the alloy strike rifle glistening brand spanking new in his hands. Uh, it's a high ranking team. It's an urban block. We've got nobody at the max rank. I didn't realise Yosef wasn't at the max rank so I'd quite like 
Captain Yosef to get up to the equivalent of Master Sergeant. I'd like Hanok to get up there, so Lars first name of the team sheet with the arc thrower. No real explosives until I decide to plonk Banksy down on the team sheet. And then it's just really... It's really just who we've got who I'd like to train up. A, a point I, that does need making is that with a lot of people I know Bros is there, Anarch as well is at 250 or 250 Psy XP. Uh, maybe I'll quickly show you. Maybe I won't because these guys are about to come out. But essentially we have the second tier. Our troops are ready for the second tier. But we're not. We haven't unlocked anything. We haven't unlocked Psy Panic, which is one of the reasons I'm so desperate to get a Muton Berserker captive. And we don't have the other one which is Mind Merge, I think, at the second rank at this level. And I think for that we do have to capture an alien we haven't even seen yet. So that's what's... Re it is captures now that as well as curtailing our research, it's curtailing our psych capacities. So that is why I'm so desperate to get a capture. This time I'm... Hmm, I, I was about to say I'm confident, but I'm not really confident. I'm not even confident that Berserkers will show up. But it is a raider. We've had quite a few berserkers on UFO missions so far. So we can only wait and see. Now, this is an urban block, despite it being a crash scout. So this means it's going to be a very specific map. It's going to be a, some kind of ruined cityscape. Some land. kind of Atlantis deep in the Mediterranean. As you can see France here. Sending an urgent mission Bleeding dirge. Downed UFO is in a densely populated urban area. It is. We'll need to move in and secure the scene before If people, people aren't panicking, panicking already, then, you know, I'm not really sure what we can do. Because, as you can see, it's on top of a building. The building's destroyed. The buildings around it are destroyed. The UFO is just hanging off an edge. And, you know, it's, it's gen in general, it's an alien invasion anyway. I think people should already be panicking. So, you can join us next time. We'll hopefully, I was going to say continue a capture spree, but what have I captured today? I've captured one sectoid, and that was lucky. I had a 9% chance to capture a berserker. That's the capture spree I've been on today. But hopefully, hopefully it'll improve. Hopefully we can get better in Operation Bleeding Dirge. Come to you next time. I'll see you then.